Yeah. Uh, lost to the two and four seed, these two guys. That's so, uh, absolutely amazing. Yeah. Good stuff. Grand finals. Grand, grand at finals, everybody. Let's get this show on the road. Pokemon Stadium 2, Sakurai was dead. He'd be rolling in his grave because everyone plays here and he gave us so many stages to play with. <laughs> it's, 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 been, it's been doing that on and off. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not affecting the play. So. All right. Oh. So, uh, so, in so these guys both both play wolf a mm -hmm. lot. Um, yeah. But I told I told Dirt to go snake. Him. Well, he might have chose that otherwise. But um, yeah, uh, Japan actually busted out snake against uh, Cherry Bomb and winners. Uh, I think Wolf's, I just, Wolf's probably his best character. But oh, by just, by far. Um, and uh, Jamal has been playing Rob a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he plays Wolf too, but I'd say probably today he's most comfortable with uh, um, Rob. That, so this would be a good matchup. That turn on Nikita though, like his his Snake is nothing to scoff at though. That's the thing. He yeah, has a sure. lot of proficiency with Snake. It's just from what I've seen, the one thing that's halting him just to woo spot dodge up to woo. That I think that's where they got the. That's where they got the inspiration for Terry's uh, counterattack. That's another thing I've been really surprised. I see no Terry's whenever I come here. I yeah, see well, no Terry's. One of our better players does play Terry. He mm -hmm. just doesn't enter. Oh. He's actually been uh, money matching Mr. Optimal as we speak. So. Is he playing and, Terry? And, and he won doubles uh, with Nigel Trio. So, oh, all so right, there's then. a good Terry. He just hasn't been in playing in bracket. Okay, all right, then. That, is that the side B or is that the neutral B? That's side B. Okay, I keep getting it mixed should be up. Neutral B is a laser. Yeah, I keep getting it mixed up. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't play Rob, nor do I want so, to. So, uh, you know, South Virginia has another Rob, mm -hmm. uh, one of Virginia Tech's best players, plays yeah. Rob, and he's played him since uh, Smash Four. Oh, Virginia, really? Though? Virginia Tech used to have in Smash Four, uh, it was Rob, Kirby, Schultz, because they're top three. So they're they're used to weird characters, and now that Rob's actually good. Um, you know, he, he's still been having success. I think there's an Incineroar mixed in there now. One well, guy still plays Bale. Like, oh. Virginia Tech has a lot of. That's that's the thing that like the the like quality of life updates uh, updates that everyone got in this game makes everyone at the very least a decent character. Like, I don't care if you're like Little Mac and can't recover that well and whatnot. Like, the yeah, he like, at least has a better recovery. Yeah, one he has a better recovery, and two, like they made it so that like in this game, the things that your character is good at, they're great at. So, like, you always have something to use. Wow, that was a really good combo. He's yeah. been really consistent. Because, like, um, it's a mix-up based on how much they mash. Oh, absolutely. And uh, he's, he's been doing that really well. One thing he's been doing a lot is he doesn't just go for, jeez, man, that up tilt's putting in so yeah. much work. One thing that Jamal's been doing throughout this entire, the entire tournament, whenever he comes on to a uh, set, or he comes on to the set, um, he always, I call it raise the roof up tilt. He always waits. He does one and then he waits and he does it again. That's how he gets his confirms. I've noticed. He like he has checkpoint markers for when they're going to be try yeah. try and mashing. And uh, I actually I live in uh, in my dorm. Uh, Jamal is one of the people, like one of my quad mates. And yeah. He, he plays online so much, and I think like just he's been good, um, but he's really leveled up this semester. Well, I mean, and uh, like he has, you know, he's played a lot online. I think. Because there's some things with characters like that you can kind of get, but at this level, a lot of time you miss time. Like yeah. a, a booyah with uh, Inkling. Like that, that's something where you don't see that very often. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, what did he get? What did he get? Ooh, mm. that was crazy. That was I did not expect that. I didn't expect him to kill. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, but yeah, like so, he's been very consistent with his up tilt into uh, up airs off mm -hmm. of uh, down throw. Yeah. And like a lot of times, people will air dodge out because the rod is slightly too slow. But he's been really effective with that. But uh, he's been pulling out some air dodges as well. He's very, he mm -hmm. like he's one that understands that like a lot of this is an adaptation fight. So if one thing, if some, if you catch someone with something, chances are if you try to do it again, they'll notice the situation and be able to respond to it very well. Yeah. Uh, Jamal did end the last season making uh, honorable mention on RPR. Oh. Uh, and so he had already been, been improving. Like, I think I of all people took a set off of him. Uh, but he, he still had a lot of good wins. Yeah. Uh, and now he's, like, been taking sets off of, like, uh, average. I think he's gone close with Dargan, uh, which are also people in our quad, but yeah. he's also been, like, doing good in his own right. He, and he, he wasn't uh, – he was kind of considered, like, it was um, – uh, average Alec and Vinny were, were like the top three in our quad. Mm -hmm. Then it was uh, 
them all. Then yeah. it was me and Low Ruler, mm -hmm. and now like it's now it's it's a four man race pretty much. And, I mean, and it's always it's always good to have that kind of mix up for who's gonna be at like the top spots because that it like it can foster a great uh, a great community of growth between the players and whatnot. Because like sure. if there's just like one or two people at the top, they fight against each other, and that's kind of it. But it's like if there's a lot of people at the top, you always have to be learning because there's so many different play styles there. And that's the thing about playing online that a lot of people discredit. Like, yeah, online can be kind of finicky, and the players might not be the best. But the best thing that you're going to get from online is the sheer versatility. The okay. sheer versatility of the of the players that you're going to fight, the different play styles mm -hmm. and whatnot. You can fight, like, if you go online, you can fight five wolves in a row. And all five of those wolves are going to play differently. Definitely. So, like, that's something that online play really helps with. Yeah. Ooh, and that's and a, I know another thing that Robbie's wow. mentioned, like, he, he knows people that are good at their characters so he'll ask them questions yeah. and like specific questions not the classic like lose to the one senior pool at a major hey what should i do better like yeah like, there's, they, they, they could probably say anything but like it's ask like, a specific thing hey is this good does this work type of thing hey like i understood that you know you got me in this situation a lot and every time i get in this situation no matter what option i pick i'd still get hit what do i do because like a lot of time like in this in this game the one thing with ultimate is that setups are incredibly important in this game like mm -hmm. especially like low percent it's not even it doesn't have to be like a combo setup where you're like a like a greninja down tilt to fair like i'm talking about just like movement setups where someone's about to land on you, you just run backwards real quick so they have landing lag and you get stuff like that yeah. like understanding where setup how like set setups are generated in this game is a big part of understanding how to be good at this game yeah for sure and like just being comfortable with uh your punishes because yeah. a lot of times if you're not sure what you can punish like you'll leave a lot on the table or you'll try to punish something that your punish ends up getting punished and that's that's the thing too like a, the like the mark now i'm not saying like you can be an o and two player and still be a quote good player what I mean by a good player is like your adaptive I call it adaptability in the that was nice. Yeah. That was you knew nice. they had enough time to go for it. Yep. For it. But um I call it like adaptability index, and it's how well you're understanding like how they're getting their damage on you and where it's coming through and what you can do to stop that from happening. Yeah. We have the mortar wall coming through. Yeah. And, and sometimes like uh, a lot of times at a lower level, there could be one thing that uh, a uh, player does poorly and that will keep them from getting farther in bracket oh, and, like, and also like matchups with people like they can yeah. beat someone but what if they never get to that person like that that's that's something that uh will happen sometimes where like uh what recently happened was uh, mr optimal he didn't have he didn't do very well today but he, he has two uh set wins on on ben. oh and, really and like that was his white whale he, he was like oh and six he took him in the game five several times, but he never got it. Mm -hmm. um, but he finally got it in the same tournament. He double eliminated Ben, which is very impressive. What? Incredibly um, impressive. And it was just like uh, he practiced a little bit over break, but honestly, it was just kind of a mentality thing where he, because because Ben is is not uh, you know he's not the quickest player. Like he, he relies on a lot of like premeditation and setups and stuff. Cold and, and calculated. Um, yeah, and uh, but like if you know what he's doing, which a lot of people are starting to get more familiar. Uh, then he starts becoming a lot more uh, beatable, and so oh, that was that was two frame. I, that I was think, crazy. I think I know what happened. There. That was a two frame. He tried. To, he was uh, his character model was about to grab the ledge, and right as it did, it was long. Uh, the hit, the his hurt box yeah. was long enough that like the Nikita actually came through and yeah. was damaging. But this yeah, this is that, that was a really close game. This know, is turning out to be a, even even if it's turning into like last stock situation. These are heavily be this is like heavily turning it this is like not heavily this is a very quick grand finals that we're seeing right now let's yeah. see if we're getting like they're, a cherry they're not camping each other out like, let's, let's see if we're getting a cherry bomb situation where it ends up turning around yeah and uh like the, these two know each other like they uh they don't get to practice a lot just because uh dirk lives a little bit farther away yeah. but like they're 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 pretty good friends and uh i'm sure dirk's very uh happy to see Jamal step on finals. him but, Step on him. Uh, the winner of this gets thirty-five more dollars than the loser, so Ooh. I'm sure that they're not just playing around. They're they're playing for keeps. I think and that's like you know I think a fun thing between these two would probably be like a wolf deal or something like that. But you know as you said, since they're both proficient in wolf, it's probably not something they want to leave up to that. You know. Yeah. Not and like. I think if someone were to go wolf, uh, I think Dirk's snake is lower than uh, Rob, uh, Jamal's Rob in terms of like. Uh, equivalent, mm -hmm. like I, I think, because Dirk, he, he's beaten, uh, like he made it out of pools of Smash Con, and, and he even won his first set out of. Pools. Oh wow, that's and, impressive! And he had a really good run, and that's he impressive. beat uh, Zeron, who was like MVP at the time.
can't. It was really impressive. Uh, and so... There are a lot of good hidden players, like, man. And we'll have sometimes, like, uh, we'll have Frostbite, Ben, and Dirk all in the same bracket. And, mm-hmm. like, they've all made it out of pools. Frostbite has made it out of pools at every um, pools tournament he's been to. Yeah. And, like, it, it's been crazy to see how much he's practiced. And, and thankfully, he comes here a lot, and he allows for people to practice against him. I think Jamal even took uh, Frostbite to Game 5, uh, at Virginia Tech the other, the other week. Mm-hmm. And so, Ooh, like, what it shows, like... You know, iron sharpens iron. Like a lot of people playing together. Uh, like you know, Liberty used to be you know Joe who's liver free, and like you know we didn't have any good players. I remember yeah. the very first monthly we hosted, we had uh, six people that came from Roanoke and Virginia Tech, and they all got top six. Really? And they just kind of freed us up. And, and some of them were good, but also like we just did not do as like very well. But I mean, like but, that's 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 what I was talking about community building. You know, yeah. like. Even though you guys are all fighting each other, you got, like you all exist as a one you, like cohesive entity, and as yeah, you guys we're fight, all growing off each other. Yeah, and like yeah, and and it's really nice to see. And like I don't know, that's like the same thing as that's one thing I've always liked about Liberty's community is the fact that like you guys are very welcoming, not just to outsiders, but like with each other. Like if you see something go wrong, then ooh. ooh. It was still a good run. From that was Jamal. a great, that and, was a great uh, run. Oh, that was. Just, and Grands have been finished.